Hello and hi everyone, welcome back. So uh, we want to talk about complex numbers and we start our discussion here with the with, with this familiar diagram that we call as the, the relationship that shows the relationship between the, the types of real numbers and as we can see here it seems like real numbers is the biggest set that we have ever accounted. The question is, is there any other set that is bigger than real numbers? So uh, the answer is yes, there is a, a set that is bigger than real numbers and this is what we call as the complex numbers. So complex number is bigger than real numbers and real numbers is just the subset of complex numbers and we denote complex numbers with capital C so uh, let me write it here so we denote complex numbers with capital C and we also denote complex numbers with Z with, with small z and let's recall that that the, the 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 capital Z is for integers and the small z is for complex numbers. So uh, complex numbers take the takes the, the 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 form of a plus b i or i b, where a this a is what we call as the real part of the complex numbers. So a is the real part of the complex numbers and b b is what we call as the imaginary part of the number so b is the imaginary part so let, let me put it here so uh, for instance let's say we have we have let's say these number these numbers we have 5 plus 4i we have 2 plus 3i for instance let's say we have um, 4 minus 2i and maybe 3 minus i so these numbers are the, the examples of what we call as complex numbers Let, let's have a look at 5 plus 4i so for this number 5 is what we call as the real part of the complex number and 4 the positive 4 is the imaginary part of the complex number and this one 2 is the real part of the complex number and positive 3 is the is the imaginary part of the complex number let's, ha let's have a look at the third example here so positive 4 is the real part and negative 2 negative 2 is the imaginary part of the complex number and this one we can look at this like it should be like 4 plus negative 2 i so that's why b is equal to negative 2 and it goes the same with the with the fourth example here so we have 3 is for the real part and this one imaginary part it should be negative 1 negative 1 because this one is like this 3 plus negative 1 i so b is equal to or the imaginary part is equal to negative 1 so uh, let's discuss it further let's say we have let's say we have b is equal to 0 what happened if we have b is equal to 0 so when this happen when this happened we should get now we have the the form of z or our complex number is just equal to a plus 0 i where 0 times with any number is just 0 therefore z is just equal to a or just take the real part of the number 
So for instance, let's say, let's say, let me, let me change the, the color of our marker first. So uh, for instance, let's say we have A is equal to 7 and B is equal to 0. So what happened here? What happened here? We have Z is equal to 7 plus 0 I. So now Z is just equal to 7. And as we know, we know before, 7 is just the real number. So when B is equal to 0, our complex number is just the same as the real number. So this one uh, helps us, that help us in clarifying the, the relationship between uh, complex numbers and also real numbers. And the last one, what, what about if we have B, uh, we have A, sorry, we have A is equal to 0. The second situation is, it may be, it may be A that is equal to 0. So what happened here is just, it's just Z is equal to 0 plus B I or this is also equal to B I so what does it mean it means that the real part is equal to 0 and and the number left is the the the, the part that left is is for imaginary part only so for instance we have let's say a equal to 0 and b let's say we have let's say we have 4 so what happened here what happened here is z now is equal to 0 plus 4i where it should be z is equal to 4i so this one as we what we call as the pure imaginary number so uh, this one is what we call as pure imaginary number and we will talk about imaginary number itself at the other videos inshallah so um, hope this one helps you in understanding the the basic concept of complex numbers so uh, till next time bye bye